Randy and Dennis. I like to talk about what I feel about my situation at Clover Park. I believe that when the recession happened, I was deciding if I wanted to try to go find a job in a construction field or do something that I really wanted to pursue, which is barbering. <laughs> Professionalism, conflict, resolution, and being open-minded is things that I have learned at Clover Park. Being professional is one trait that I, that I was lacking until I got great information from speakers telling me how, how important it is to be professional. I thought being professional was less important than having skills in my field of work. I never had a clue what professionalism, professionalism was due to my work history. In my past, I excelled in my jobs by possessing the necessary hands-on skills and working in a fast pace. I have learned that being professional is something that one has carried in their and one has to carry in all their daily activities. My experience in public speaking has cre created more avenues. I had expectations to grow in the class for an opportunity to own my own barber shop with no fears to express my feelings uh, professionally. Professionalism has influence <coughs> has influence on first impressions respect of others, ability to network, and set standards. There has been a number of conflicts which I encountered in my two quarters at Clover Park. Life as a full-time student and partner, of, and partner and parent has a tribute to a wide range of conflict. These has been small as moving from one building to another, and let me give you a fair description of what I'm talking about. Like in my first quarter, um, we had a different building uh, where the barbershop was located. So I was getting all kind of calls from different people like, hey man, where's your barbershop at? I don't know where to get in, where's it at? And we, and the, at the beginning of the second quarter, we had moved to the cosmetology building. So everybody was confused. And identifying friendships and tardiness. Uh, and what I like to elaborate about that, because I had a friend that I believed in, and we had the same ambitions and goals to uh, to flourish and build a strong commitment to be a, uh, business owners in a barbershop. Only thing he felt was to give up, you know, stop coming to school and doing all the right things he's supposed to do to excel in life. And while my biggest was theft, and I didn't agree that a lot of people should take things of mine that I had paid for and worked hard for. And commuting from Port Orchard every day and cost-wise with no job, well, the only thing that I was reliable of was getting an unemployment check. And that's the only thing I can count it for to get back and forth to Clover Park and home. Um, and, disrupt, and disrupting classroom time. And for that, I think that we have students that will come in when they feel like it, they wasn't there, you know, they had certain issues. Instead of being uh, professional, they would use reasons to say, oh, I can't come to school because my kids are sick or I, I didn't wake up on time, and that's no excuse, you know. If, if this is a profession, you treat it like a good job, you know, and that's anything that you do in life. And in this class, touching on my fourth speech, I had struggled most out of all of my speeches. The only way I could redeem myself was for me to do well on the rest of my speeches. I gained confidence from my last speech to do well with my speech today. I felt relief from gaining a sense of confidence because I was able to finish my speech and gain respect from all of you guys in the classroom and I really applaud you. And most of the conflicts that took a toll on my actions, which are good for resolutions. All of my resolutions are resolved by, by my faith and willing to adjust to change. I figured whatever and whenever a situation occurs, sit back and think of ways to come up with a solution. For the majority of my life, I have been a judgmental person of character. I believe the saying, judge a book by its cover, is basically true. It's a true statement. I have been on the outside looking in because that's the way I was brought up. For instance, I thought just because a person is Caucasian, I believe they couldn't dance, cut hair, 
cut black people's hair or like hip hop. And as far as black people, I was under the impression that we all love pork. And we could become we couldn't become president. Or our dean in this college is black. I have made an observation which made this statement false. It is your decision to, that makes people like me look crazy. Being open-minded is a state of mind which gives people a new perspective of life. I've never doubt any, any ability of, of my success on my own. Throughout my two quarters at Clover Park College, I will practice what I preach to, up, to overcome obstacles to live up to my success. Utilize the tools that was presented to me to obtain through others. Come up with a solution to resolve issues. Use a better sense of judgment before making an observation. Understanding how to be professional, utilizing conflict, resolutions, and being open-minded is the key to understanding self and impact on a great future. With this, my partner Dennis, I'd like to have him elaborate on his three accomplishments. Peace. Thanks, Randy, for elegantly and intelligently explaining what you learned here at Clover Park. Like Randy, I too have learned something. I had a hard time coming up with something that I learned that I thought that I could speak about with the same passion that Randy just did. I know I learn something new every day, but we take in so much information daily that sometimes you miss those pertinent and important life jewels. So I figured I'd just tell y'all a little bit about what I learned in all three of my classes this quarter. I had Math 82, Psychology 112, and this speech class. Don't bite off more than you can chew. Did I say that right? Don't bite off more than you can chew is what I learned in my Math 82 class. Um, I wasn't ready to take the class, so I dropped it. The problem was work, family, my lady was also going to school, I was late for class every day, and with math, that's something where, you know, you got to be there, you know, if you're going to learn anything. Um, so the next time I take my math class, I'll be ready and more prepared, and I'll have my schedule all worked out. My psychology class has some things in common with this class. It's fun, my teacher, Mr. Thompson, is cool, and tells a lot of stories like Dr. Phil. Um, I might want to be a psychologist when I grow up. It's what I learned in my psychology class. I say that that way because I'm 37, I'm, I will be 37 this year, and I believe I waste a lot of time in my life. I waste a lot of time chasing women, <laughs> procrastinating uh, with important issues in my life. Uh, my everlasting battle with child support is, <laughs> is killing me. So now at this time in my life, with the birth of my son, I have a newfound passion to accomplish my goals and grow myself and my family in all aspects of life. I have always had a passion for the mind. As humans, um, as, human, as far as human beings go, the mind is like the holy grail, and it's still a big mystery. I would love to be one of those people that study that subject in great detail. I enjoyed what I learned in my psychology class so much, I just might consider psychology as a career goal. But I'll make that decision later after I complete my welding course here at Clover Park. Speak to be heard and you will be heard is the lesson I learned in this class. I never had a problem speaking in front of people. Um, like I told y'all, my way of life, I speak in the middle of ciphers every day. We, you know, exchange energy and love. Um, I used to do spoken word on a regular. Uh, I also took a... a um, speech class a couple years ago at Pierce College. My life goal, I mean, excuse me, I'm going somewhere else. My life is an open book, and I like to share. Even though I spoke a lot, I was missing what I learned in this class, organization. In this class, I learned about the art of speaking. Before this class, most of the um, lessons I learned about speaking was in the act of speaking. Now I feel complete and ready to use my new power because I got a lot to say. Um, and I know that we all learned something in this class that, well, I know I've learned something in this class that we all have learned in this class. We all are nervous, some more than others. But if you are passionate and believe in what you're speaking about and honest about it, 
要奪飯。